Hello and welcome. Today I'll be swatching and giving my first impression of these five Expressy shades gifted by Essie. As always, thank you for being here. Please consider subscribing. I upload new videos weekly. So here I have five Expressy shades. There's two FX toppers and three cream shades. And the Expressy line is described as a quick drying nail polish that should dry in about one minute. The five shades I have here are Crop Top and Roll, Faux Real, Left on Shred, Ethereal Glow, and Unapologetic Icon. Faux Real and Ethereal Glow are labeled as top coats and the other are just quick dry polishes. So my nails are already prepped here with Essie's Hard to Resist and I'll get right into beginning the swatching. So first up is going to be Crop Top and Roll. Crop Top and Roll is described as a soft pink beige. Right off the bat, I'm noticing it has a round brush and it's angled slightly. At first I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be like that, um, but it is. I looked it up and it is labeled as easy application with both hands, um, but after playing around with it a little bit, I wasn't a huge fan. I think I'm just so used to it being a straight brush that I wasn't really into it that much. I feel like I struggled getting really nice cuticle line but with anything i mean you get used to it as you use it more but just like as a first time i did struggle with it a little bit so next is left on shred and left on shred is described as a deep navy blue i did want to say for this first coat i'm doing it very thin i wanted to um get a really good idea of if it really dried super quickly or not so uh Let's actually check this first coat of crop top and roll and I am happy to report it is dry. It's pretty dry already so it's it's firm to the touch so that's very good. Okay so next I'm going to apply unapologetic icon to the next three fingers and then I'm going to do the toppers on two of those fingers so you can see the toppers over a solid and I feel like they'll show up a lot better because it looks like they're going to be pretty sheer. They are labeled as toppers. An apologetic icon is described as a crisp canvas white. I'm doing my thumb and I'm not working quickly enough. I feel like whites typically, at least for me, they always dry pretty fast anyway. So the fact that this is also a quick dry, you need to move really quickly, like don't overwork it or it'll start to get a little patchy. But the first coat is, uh, it's all right. It's definitely gonna need a second coat for all of these colors, especially if you wanna take advantage of that quick dry aspect. So I'm just going to do a little test and do a little bit thicker of a coat for this second layer and see if it dries just as quick or not. Crop top and roll matches the color on the bottle and it is a very nice neutral shade. Here, I get a little bit like thrown off by the angle of the brush. I just, yeah, I'm not used to it, but I feel like I have a hard time kind of getting in those corners. Like for one side of the nail, it's fine, but the other side of the nail, I kind of have to like, I don't know, move my wrist in a different way. It's like muscle memory. But anyways, left on tread. Matches the color in the bottle. Looking good after two coats.
So another thing I'm noticing with these polishes is they don't self-level super great. Like hard to resist is definitely not like a smooth, smoothing base coat. Um, and I do have a little bit of texture on my nails. I have ridges on my nails and they definitely show through with these shades. They'll self-level a little bit like if you put a thicker layer, but if you have any little indents or ridges on your nails, those will still show through a little bit. So you're definitely going to want to do a top coat. Okay, and here, now I'm gonna check to see with a thicker layer, does it dry in about a minute? And sadly, no. <laughs> so if you want that one minute quick dry time, you need to do the layers super thin. So here, I'm doing my little trick. Uh, it might be a little nasty to you, but <laughs> it works. I just lick my finger a little bit and then kinda rub onto it and it smooths it out a little bit. So pro tip, you know, just wash your hands after. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that works. If you try it and it works for you, let me know. If you already knew that, let me know. If it's something completely new, let me know. I'm curious. Did you already know that? Now I'll start on the effect top coats. All right, so for the first top coat effect, we have Faux Real, which is described as a sheer pink, flaky chrome pearl top coat effect. So this one's really pretty and I'm actually surprised as you can see over white it doesn't really give any pink tinge like it's mostly still white so for me I would more consider it as like a flaky chrome topper and not necessarily like pink because I'm not getting much pink although if you did multiple layers you might get a little bit more pink but it definitely doesn't look as pink on the nail with one coat as it does in the bottle. Next up we have the topper ethereal glow just gonna clean up around my finger right here. Um, it's dry enough that I'm able to just scrape it away really quick with the underside of my finger. Ethereal Glow is described as a sheer fiery red multi-dimensional gold pearl. This one's really pretty it definitely gives more of a like color tint as a topper um, compared to faux real there's definitely as you can see a more like coral type jelly finish So these were fun. Um, I like the toppers. I think that they'll, they'll look good over most colors and I love that they're quick drying. Tell me your thoughts. Have you tried any espressi shades before? They're good in a pinch, that's for sure. Thanks for watching.